Hello guys, welcome to my video. My name is Luis. I'm making this video because some of you have asked me to show you how to program your uh, router, your Aris Frontier router. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So um, first, we're going to look at the bottom of the router. It should have a sticker similar to this one. And this gives you all the info that we need in order to uh, program your router. So I've... Uh, Set my router to um, the default settings. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to connect to the router using the password, the default uh, network and password. So this is my network name from tier 1088. This is my password. I'm connected to it right now. I don't have any internet, but we're going to fix that right now. Okay. So once you connect to the network, we go to um, this address. So the IP address for this particular router is this 192.168.254.254. So we go there. And then now that we're there, we sh you should have a page that looks similar to this. We go to advanced. First thing, and we go to con administration. So uh, this router has two passwords. One is for the Wi-Fi, and one is the device access code. Uh, the Wi-Fi is to get into the network. The access code is to change any settings on the router. So in order to change the settings, I have to put the device access code, which is uh, 7722, what else was it? Uh, 193, Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to change the device access code because anytime I need to uh, access something, I need to put a password and I cannot remember that code. So I'm going to put in my own password and you got to confirm it again. So once you have that, you're going to need to put in, you no longer need the device access code, you use the password that you set up. Okay, now, second thing, and most importantly, we need to go to connection settings. This is what's going to actually give you internet. So you go to ISP protocol, and you put DHCP. Uh, you don't use dynamic DNS, you use static DNS. Your primary DNS number that you're going to input is this one, 8.8.8.8. And the secondary DNS number is this one. 8.8.4.4 and click apply and then once we have this this is what's going to give you internet so in about a minute or two you should be getting internet so once we have this set up we can now go and change your uh, network name and password uh, let's just check to see if we have internet yet usually it takes about a minute or two be patient we don't have any internet yet okay so in these uh, model router sometimes uh, it'll it'll update to total control wireless what that does is it combines the 5g and the 2g network into one single network I personally do not like it I like to have the 2g and the 5g visible so you could disable it yourself uh, if you like it, you can enable it. I particularly don't like it at all, so I disable it uh, once it updates. So now, first, what we're going to do is uh, change the 5G network name. So right now I'm signed into the 2G network, but the 5G network uh, name is this one. And we're going to change it. You can change it to whatever you want, obviously. I'm going to name it. Uh, Aris 5G and I'm going to change the default password we select this and you guys put whatever you guys want for your password I'm selecting this password right here uh, now keep in mind that this is case sensitive I would highly recommend you writing down the password just in case you lock yourself out so once we have that click apply and continue Usually when you change settings, the network settings, 
it will temporarily kick you out of the network. So I'm still in there. I'm sure it's going to kick me out right now. Anyways, let's check on our internet. No internet yet. Oh, but it did kick me out. See? It kicked me out and it reconnected me. All right, now I'm back on the network and it looks like we have internet. So let's connect to the Aris 5G. Okay, so now I'm connected to Aris 5G. And now that we're on the Aris 5G, we could change the password on the 2G, asking for the code. We set up, we give it the password we set up earlier. And now we could change the 2G. Network name, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it this password. You guys could give it whatever you want. I'm gonna give it this. Let's continue. And that should be it. We're gonna it's gonna it's probably gonna kick us out again. Wait till after it kicks us out, and we could do a speed test. Check us out. Still says Frontier 1088. That should change. Oh, here's the Reach 2G. And the two the Frontier 1088 should disappear soon. Yeah, kick us out. Now we're back in again. And now we could do the speed test. So there we go. We have a really good speed. And we set up the internet. Uh, and just to recap, your uh, connection settings have to, which is the most important thing, should look something similar to this. It has to look exactly like this, actually. Okay. So we have really fast internet, and that's it. Uh, you guys could feel free to message me if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.